The San Diego Board of Supervisors voted 4-0 to zero to approve a resolution for the resignation of Nathan Fletcher. We'll tell you what this means for the supervisor coming up. And if you're having trouble purchasing a home, a new California program could give you more buying power. Learn more about it in the in-depth report. And stick around to hear what artists will be headlining at the San Diego County Fair this summer. New Scene starts now. Hello, I'm Jillian Fortner and welcome to this week's edition of New Scene, a broadcast produced by the students of San Diego City College. Every Wednesday, we bring you the top stories of the week. We start tonight with the San Diego Board of Supervisors demanding Nathan Fletcher to resign immediately. The Board of Supervisors passed a vote of no confidence in a special meeting yesterday. The announcement comes after Fletcher was accused of sexual misconduct by two different women. The vote is a move to put pressure on Fletcher to leave office immediately instead of the original date of May 15th. The board is expected to discuss replacement options for Fletcher's seat at their next meeting on May 2nd. And former President Trump is attempting to stop his vice president from testifying about the January 6th attacks. Trump's legal team filed for an appeal for Pence's testimony on Monday. This come days after Pence announced he would not be appealing the order issued by the court. He could be called to the grand jury as early as this week. And if you're stressed about that upcoming tax deadline, we have good news. Taxpayers across California will have an extra six months to file and pay taxes. The decision by the IRS was announced back in February. The purpose of this extension from April 18th was to help Californians recover from the damage caused by winter storms. The final deadline is October 16th. And here's something your bank account might already know. America's finest city is listed among the highest priced American cities to live in. A 2023 Smart Asset study revealed that you need to make around $80,000 after taxes to live comfortably in the San Diego metro area. Our high housing prices are one of the main reasons you need a large salary to live comfortably. And whether you're renting or buying, there seems to be no escaping San Diego's pricey housing market. David has more on the in-depth report. Thanks, Jillian. It's no secret that housing prices in our state are high, but a new report says California has the lowest rate of home ownership in the country. According to a study conducted by Ruby Home Luxury Real Estate, only about 7 million of California's 40 million residents own and occupy their own home. Factors contributing to California's low rate of home ownership include a lack of affordable homes, rapid inflation, and high interest rates. The study says the majority of residents in the Golden State rent and live with family or roommates. And if you're one of those renters eager to own your own place, a new program may give you more purchasing power. The California Housing Finance Agency is offering a new loan program to cover a buyer's down payment. When the home is later sold, the down payment, along with a percentage of any equity gained, is paid back. Of course, this program does have some nuances. It is offered only to first-time home buyers with strong credit scores and incomes under specific limits. To see if you qualify, visit calhfa.ca.gov. And Jillian has even more to share about our city's cost of living. Thanks, David. It's definitely challenging when housing takes up such a large portion of the budget. And if you need a drink downtown after hearing all of this, you might want to pack a flask. A new study shows that San Diego is the most expensive place in the nation to have a night out. The cost of dinner and drinks here surpasses other expensive cities like Los Angeles and New York. From the cost of drinks at bars and clubs to the price of dinner at high-end restaurants, going out in San Diego can really add up. 
If you're looking for a cheaper night out, priceless studies suggest heading to Las Vegas or San Antonio. And big changes could be coming to San Diego and electric bills. State legislation passed last year requires utility companies to propose new income-based rates. SDG&E proposed an outline for the change. Under the proposal, customers would be charged a flat fee topped by another based on income. If the proposal is accepted, California would be the first state to have a portion of electricity bills determined by income. And find out what is not so sweet about your favorite Easter candies later in the show. We'll be right back. I tell my son, I love you every single day. Now my dad has never said that to me. Not because he doesn't love me, but because culturally it wasn't comfortable for him. Now that he's a grandfather, he says I love you to my son every time he sees him. My advice to all the fathers out there, forget the cultural restrictions. They grow up way too fast for you to waste even a single precious moment. Welcome back to New Scene. Health risks might have been hiding in your Easter baskets. The popular candy Peeps is one of the foods under fire thanks to a proposed California bill. Certain colors of Peeps are known to contain red dye number three. This dye contains titanium dioxide, which is linked to cancer. But Peeps fanatics don't worry too much. The bill would not ban the marshmallow we treat, but merely the ingredient from its recipe. Other popular candies like Skittles and hot tamales would have to change their recipes as well. And San Diego area students interested in nursing don't have to look far for a nationally ranked program. City College's nursing program has been ranked number two in California and third nationally with an average passing rate of 99% over the last three years. That was enough to earn a City College an overall grade of A. Read more about it in rnacareers.org. And musical theater fans are in for a treat. Get ready to come to the cabaret. One of the most beloved and captivating musicals of all time is coming to City College and the Seville Theater. The musical is set in the alluring and provocative world of the 1920s Berlin and features fascinating music, a live orchestra, and thrilling storyline, and of course, iconic dance numbers. Cabaret will run for two weekends starting April 21st. You can get your tickets now at citycollegetheater.com. And there's some exciting events coming to town soon. Candace, tell us more about it. Thanks, Jillian. We start tonight with a family-friendly event for circus lovers of all ages. San Diego's Fern Street Circus kicks off its 2023 neighborhood tour this weekend. The annual favorite includes 10 free public performances in parks and community centers around Mid-City and South San Diego. The shows will feature music, clowns, dance, and traditional circus acts. All performances will begin at 2 in the afternoon. For more information, visit FernStreetCircus.com. And summer may be a few months away, but the time is now to get your tickets to the biggest concert of the season in San Diego. The San Diego County Fair has announced its 2023 lineup, and the headliner will be Kevin Hart. The comedian will take the stage on June 9th. Rounding out the lineup, up, rounding out the lineup is R&B favorites, Boys to Men, San Diego's own Switchfoot and Grammy winner, Stephen Marley. Artist pre-sale tickets are available today and general admission will be available on Friday. For more information, visit sdfair.com. And that's all for entertainment. Back to you, Jillian. Thanks, Candace. That sounds like a great lineup. I cannot wait for the fair to open up this summer. And spring break may be over, but you might want to get a jump on planning your summer Bay Fest because it's returning to San Diego. Bayfest is a beach music festival that celebrates San Diego culture with music, beer, and of course, tacos. Reggae artist Damian Marley is set to headline. The music festival will be taking place at Waterfront Park this July. For more information on the festival, visit SanDiegoBayfest.com. And dinosaur lovers, this is your last chance to visit Jurassic World before it goes extinct. 
The Mission Valley exhibit is open to all fans of the films and its iconic supersized reptiles. The experience includes a one-of-a-kind life-size dinosaur model. Jurassic World will run through April 16th. For tickets and more information, visit JurassicWorldExhibit.com. Uh, exhibit and that's what we have for this week's new scene. You can tune in for a new show every Wednesday evening or watch anytime you want on YouTube. You can also keep up with the latest news from the entire City Times media team on sccitytimes.com slash new scene. This is Jillian Fortner and for the entire new scene team, good night.